So, just another quick video about Visual Studio 2023, and this is based on a question about the color effects. And the question was, well, apart from turning this knob with whatever color effect is selected, can you, can you change more stuff about these color effects? Someone says the noise was too powerful, and there was other kind of a tweaks they wanted to do to the echo and stuff. And the answer is, yes, you can change that in Virtual DJ 2 sometimes. So uh, let's just look into that for a little bit, shall we? Um, the thing is that it was probably inspired by something like this. This is the DAM 900 Nexus 2 from Pioneer. So this is a physical mixer and a little sound color effects part here. And of course, the idea is that you pick a color effect and you turn this color effect knob, right? So it can, of course, be, uh, it can also be a filter, which is the, uh, the grand old man in this stuff, but it can also be some of the other ones like the noise or the dub echo and stuff. And it's, it has a secondary parameter knob here that you can change this a little bit, uh, a secondary variable, if you will, for this stuff. So not just the, the big button here. And can you do something similar in visual detail? And like I said, in some cases, yes. Um, so how do you do that? Well, it's actually pretty much like how you have regular effects because you can see up here, I've mapped this little button. It says effect show GUI. What's that do? Well, it shows the extra stuff that's on the echo effect. So if I click that now, it's the same as click the plus, like you probably know, next to the effect. Uh, so uh, you get this little extra pop-up that you can uh, unduck and move if you want to, but you can change some of the extra settings apart from these two dials or whatever you have, but depending on how you set up your skin. So that's the regular stuff for regular effects. But you can also do that for the color effects. You can simply use effect show GUI color effects, and then it'll do something similar to the color effects. And it'll sometimes work, but for some color effects, it won't. Let's start with the one that the white doesn't work. That's filter. That's the basic, uh, the old, old one, which is from before color effects were a thing. It's just the filter one. And of course, it sounds like this. Like you've heard a million times. So what happens if I click this thing while the filter effect is selected down here? Well, then I do get a pop-up or an extra little thing here that can turn into a pop-up like this. And when I do stuff here, nothing happens. If I turn it on explicitly like this, try it again. Still nothing happens. But it can act like a secondary thing, like this. So it works independently, and you can set the, res the resonance on it. So we can do that like this. So it sounds uh, uh, changed, right? Because you changed the resonance. But this is like a secondary kind of thing. It doesn't really work this, with this thing. So for filter effects, you don't want to use this little trick. That was just the first way where it doesn't work. Instead, if you want to change the resonance on the filter effect, you have a setting for it uh, in the options. So let's just look at that for just a tiny second. Uh, so if we go into options, I can just put in uh, resonance. And this, this one, filter default resonance. So you can change it in here to the different ones, right? So uh, this is where you change how your filter sounds, not by doing the, this pop-up. So that's the first one where it doesn't work. So let's get rid of this one and look at the second one where it doesn't work. That's the vocals. That's where stems get involved. Are you turning on? Uh, are you gradually going into a cappella or gradually going into uh, uh, to instruments only, right? So. Uh, I can actually open the pop-up for that one too. This one, which like you can see, doesn't have anything on it. So that's another place where this thing doesn't work. So let's go into the place where you can actually do stuff. So if I, uh, if I pick something else, like for instance, the cut effect, so that sounds like this. So 
that's the color effect. But uh, it actually has more settings, so if I click this, you can see it actually uh, moves some of the stuff uh, stuff around, especially if you can see the strength. So I'm going to just try and do it. So as you can see, it changed the strength. It actually also changes the length. You just can't see it on the style, but you can see it if you monitor uh, the beats down here, so like this. So half. So this is actually a combination of strength and length, right? And um, you probably don't want to touch this stuff, but that's that's what this one does, and it doesn't even update the uh, the graphics. But you can touch some of the other stuff, like you can do, turn it into a stereo kind of a cut effect. Uh, oh, sorry, a uh, yeah cut effect. So something like this. And so now that's a beats. Look at the gaps in between. And if you are wearing headphones for this video, it's very weird in your head right now because of the stereo thing. And luckily you can just double click uh, this thing to make it go back to the uh, uh, to the standard version, uh, to the standard values or the defaults, if you will. So now it's uh, that's the default, so you haven't ruined your cut effect. So that's one of the one where it works. Let's try another one. Uh, distortion. You lay there on the kitchen floor. Distortion. Like you we get this thing. No I'm sorry, and we can try doing stuff like change the color. I just can't get enough. A feedback. Very different distortion now. Add to this thing. But as you hear, that doesn't really cut off everything, so you need to cut this off too. So cut it off again. So that's one of the places where you probably want to be careful with this stuff, because one knob won't fix this by going back. Uh, so even though you Put this back to 12 o'clock, this thing will still do distortion, this thing up here, and not just the down sample, which is what this knob is controlling. So be a little bit careful. That's a, another interesting place to uh, to play, if you will. And let's just do a couple more. So we have echo, of course. So uh, let's do that one. Regular. Get the good. These ones are controlled by like some knob, so let's do some uh, high pass filtering maybe. And also, good stuff. I won't do anything, so put these things. So, very different sounding than if you're. Bringing these two back to the default. This thing. And we can do the flanger one. Regular flanger. Add to the buoy. And we can again change a little bit of feedback. So it's a high, high pass feedback. You can do tons of stuff. This made it a lot more aggressive. So we have another place where this may actually make sense. But again, this stuff over here, you probably want to let that be controlled by the default thing like it was. So that's flanger, and uh, finally let's just do a uh, noise. 
because that was one of the ones that I talked about. So uh, the noise one is too aggressive. So uh, let's just do the track. You lay there on the kitchen floor. It seems like you can't take no more. I'm sorry. And here it's indeed possible to make it less aggressive by using this thing and then taking a wet dryer and then sit down to, I don't know, 9% or something like that. And it starts like this. You lay there on the kitchen floor. It seems like you then it's just a tiny thing on top, right? I'm sorry, but when my end you can go the other direction. I just can't get enough. And make it very aggressive. And again, double click to set it back so the default this was 30% for this thing. So this was just a, a, a way to, uh, to show these things and uh, have uh, the ability to change these color effects apart from just selecting them and turning them up. And like I said, it doesn't work on filter, doesn't uh, work on the vocal because it makes no sense. Uh, but the other ones you can play with this. But remember, it's a little bit of an uncharted territory, which I guess, I assume, is the reason why there's not a, uh, a little button for it here. Why is there no plus here? Because this, is, this stuff is kind of crazy. And some things work, and some things just go crazy, and some things are just acting weird. But find the ones that you uh, that you like, and uh, and set them. Uh, if you wanna change how the color effect sounds, apart from just the master knob. <laughs>